I mean, like, what do you think, like, with people who's not working as well, like, and do you think that they should use the time wisely to skill set? Or, I mean, I don't want to tell people what to do with their time, really and truly. But I like to give a positive vibe and, you know, show people that it's like, you shouldn't worry about what's going on so much about your income and stuff. You've got so much time. If you've got time, you can do something about it. And we have the internet now. And there's so much free stuff to learn on the internet, right? Like, look how many years we've been putting into skill set building and we can do all sorts now with the, the talents that we've picked up along the way. We just don't yeah, really... Yeah. We haven't really put the time to apply it heavily, you know? You know we, you just, it like, it's actually like a personal skill set to build on your own efficiency. Do you know what I mean? So people need to learn That's, their productivity and how to not procrastinate. You know what I mean? So... I've seen a good quote the other day. Rich, poor people are loading up on toilet paper while rich people are loading up on stocks. Stocks. Yeah. Yeah, 100%, man. Do you know what? Like, I think when I read Rich Dad, Poor Dad... I, you know what? I only read Rich Dad, Poor Dad recently, last year. Yeah? Good book, by the way. You, should, you guys should get that. It's, it's, it's a good book. Very insightful to how uh, money works, financial investments. But I only read it last year and... I regret that I didn't read it. T- I didn't read it ten years ago. I didn't take the time to read it because I was so wrapped up with Think and Grow Rich. Like when I read Think and Grow Rich, all I thought about was, yeah, man, you don't need money, you don't need education. You just need to be observant and be resourceful, know the people, and apply what you can with people, and yeah, just make a way. Um, but yeah, when I read Rich, I pulled that last year, and I realized like my whole understanding of cash flow was wrong it really blew my mind. I was like, okay, I've been investing in stuff and all that, but I haven't really invested correctly where I'm leaving myself drowning or struggling each time. Do you know what I mean? Rather than I could be comfortable investing while doing my thing, while working, I've done it the wrong way around. I've just, I've basically got my poker chips and got them all in. Do you know what I mean? (laughs) If man gets rivered, then I'm done. You know what I mean? Start again, isn't it? Grind. (laughs) So yeah, like, it's, it's all about compound interest and that is a skill set in learning in itself. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, because I, I, fi- I find a lot of people, they just, they've got a job. Yeah, yeah, I'm secure, I'm good. But really, when you look at it, it's just a slave wage and it's yeah. just making... You, and look now. It's just making you pay your rent and bills and that's it. You're not living. You're not going here, there, linking people, creating projects or... Yeah. Like... And, and look now, people were made redundant. Some people aren't lucky like me, to be honest. Like, I don't mean to rub it in people's faces, but some people aren't lucky like me and on a furlough. You know, some people just got made redundant, flat out done. No, you ain't got no job no more. It's a, it's yeah. a bit mad, bro. That, that actually happened. Well, it's imagine imagine mad. this. Imagine this. You're, <clears throat> I don't know, say the age we are now, yeah? And we're working a dead-end job and we're relying on the company pension. And then the company folds because of something like this. We get made redundant. And then, I don't know, we've got to be a greeter at Asda for the rest of our lives. Or or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, you mean that right now? What, right now? Like, if we were stuck like this for the rest of our lives, is that what what you mean? (laughs) No, I mean, like, you know... You know when you're working, you know a lot of people have got that mindset where they clock in nine to five, nine to five. Yeah, 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 just, yeah. It's going to be it for the rest of my life. I'm now. I've got a yeah. 40 hours a week full time job. Yeah. And then, like, so starting it at the age we are now, and then yeah. they're relying on the, the, the company pension, and then they get to, like, I don't know, 60, 70, everything just flops, and then they've still got to get another dead end nine to five job because when they were younger, just, there wasn't. It wasn't taking care of the old mum. Yeah, man. Okay. Get, get, get into like 65 and just feeling like Storms in it. Just just so disappointed, bro. Get me? <laughs> <laughs> get me? Like, my dad, bro, when he he thought he was going to retire, he had to clock on another five years, mate. You know what yeah, I mean? My, yeah. mom, my mom had to wait for five years for him to be done before they could go home to Philippines. Like, it's mad, bro. Like, that pension That's life. What... Like, I'm not about, I, I, I'm not built for pension life. I'm either working or I'm not. Do you know what I mean? But I'm going to be working. You know I mean? That's I'm why we're working, and, and if I'm going to be working, I'm doing something I enjoy. That's what I always say to people. We've got to take care of that old man. We're going to be now. We've got to take care of that old man now. What we're going to be in the future, you know? Yeah, I mean? man. Health is wealth, man. 
stuff yeah, as well. Yeah, and yeah. like your your happiness affects it affects your mindset, and in fact, it affects it affects your mental and your physical health. Like your fre- your, your frequencies depend on ha- your emotions. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, of course. And obviously, like, yeah. the reason when you're, you're when you're more positive and you feel really good about yourself, you get them dopamine. That's healthy for your body. Like, you're, you're repairing your body. Do you know what I mean? When you're getting enough sleep, like you're when you're That's doing certain things, like you're repairing your body. Loads of things that repairs it, man. Sleep, good vibes. You see, when you're happy, your skin glows differently. Your yeah. aura glows. Doesn't it? And then and wh- when people are constant miserable and complaining, it brings man. down the whole. System. You, you, so you see it in people, man. Yeah. You see it in people that like, you really see people that are miserable and. I've lost. That, I I do you know what's mad is they don't recognize it that they're miserable. But it's always someone else. They don't. Fault. They don't recognize it and. And I feel bad to point it out to them sometimes, but it's not my place, in it? But yeah, yeah. I feel pushed at sometimes. I'm like, bro, do you know what? You just give me a negative energy, and you need to stop. Like, <laughs> if, you're, if you're gonna, if you're gonna chat to me, please, like, allow me in it. Like, speak on good vibes, in it. Like, cause like, this vibe <laughs> you're giving me, bro, it's just dragging me down. Like, some people can do that, to you know. You can get a phone call. You can get a phone call. Hey, blood. You know, just going ham. Like, ah, oh, just, just so having a shit day, man. I have like people like fucking you, blah 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 blah, like 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 saying me, bro. I ain't done nothing to him, and he's like saying people like me now. So I'm there thinking now, like, what have I done to this guy? Hold on, what have I done to this guy? And I haven't, I haven't done nothing to him. And then when the phone call's done, when we we're like, all right, brother, right, I'll chat to you later. After that, I've got that energy now. Like, what did I do to him? And he's got me thinking, like, bro, he's making me feel guilty. He's making me feel upset. He's making me feel like angry because i don't know why he's like like he's upset with me as well and that energy there bro that energy sucks the soul out of you bro like imagine but if you go through that on a daily basis that's not healthy man. that no. is not healthy and i know certain people go through that vibe and guys you need to stop you people to like stop. that people like that i just cut them off yeah it's not even that them themselves they need to cut off that sort of energy man they need to cut off people hey, check make, this. people make them feel that way environments Anything, man. Have you, I, I, I don't. I barely drink now. Innit? You know, I've told you that. Innit? I barely drink because yeah, yeah. alcohol makes me feel like that. You know, when, when I come off of it, I feel like that, that. That hangover is like it's that vibe, bro. Mm. It's that vibe when you come off a hangover. That that is that is a cruddy feeling, bro. I'm never again. I don't want that feeling no more. Have you ever been in in someone's house? Well, have you like every time you go to someone's house before you even get to the door? You can just feel the negative energy. The tension's so thick, you can cut. Like, the atmosphere's, like, so thick, the, the tension and everything, you can cut it. In the, the past, in the past, in the past. I ain't gonna Every- lie, there's, there's been moments like that because... <laughs> I know, I, I, like, what, what the, the awkwardness is, is, like, when one friend has a, has a thing with the other friend, but they yeah. haven't told each other, but they've both told you, if that makes yeah. sense. And it's just, like, yeah. it's just a weird thing. It's, like, you're in between now. And then, like, unless you say one to the other about what the other one said, they're never going to really know, innit, that they're talking to each other about that. Luckily, I'm not really that type of person that goes, oh, do you know what thing he said about me? Do you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not that person, man. I'm trying not to be that person. But if I know they're doing something to me, like, I, like you know what I mean? I have, I have a f- thing about it. And do you know what? People are like that anyway. They make me feel that way about them as well. Because if they're talking about someone else to me, what are they doing to me? Like, what are they talking about me? Like, what, when I'm it's my best friend... It's mad, bro. Like, I can't do that. Do you know what I mean? I had to cut away from people like that, man. Do you know what I mean? Unless they change, like, for the better, I just had to get out of that zone. Yeah. It, it's like they they seem to think that the whole world owes them something. You know what I mean? Like, everyone's got a change to fit around them. Yeah. There's, <laughs> I, I, I've seen something recently where there's, there's, I think there's, like, four types of people in the world. There's, like, the rich, the rich who feel entitled or the rich who work hard. The poor who feel entitled and the poor who work hard. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And the poor who work hard and the rich who work hard are very good, you know, both sides of the spectrum. They're very good people. But the rich who are very entitled and the poor entitled, they're such bad people. Do you know what I mean? Mm. If you think about that concept, bro, you're rich and you feel entitled. Yeah. <laughs> like you feel like you're above everyone. I imagine you're poor and you feel entitled. Like you think you deserve more. Do you know what I mean? It's crazy, bro. If you think about it from that perspective. So, you know what I've came across in life as well? I've, I've met, like, rich, rich kids. And um, it's like, 
they have some sort of resentment because everything's been handed down to them and yeah. they've never brought anything. They feel a yeah. resentment. They, they, they do. I won't get into what they do because obviously I can't say it on here. But they, yeah. they'll do of dumb shit to try and impress you to get like validation and it's like yeah. yo you don't have to do I ain't gonna lie bruv guilty bruv do you know what I mean like that, <laughs> I, I feel I feel like you know like a lot of people always put it in my face like bruv your, your parents gave you this your parents gave you that I'm like bruv like okay like I might be I might look nice in the Philippines but here bruv like, if you come to London where I was raised I didn't have an easy life bruv do you know what I mean it's, I've had mad swings in life I've, I've had it luxury and I've had it like gritty, like tough. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. no one can but, tell me nothing, man. I, I know which I know both ways. It's 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 hard to pull through, um, especially when you get used to the luxury side of life. But it's really about gratefulness, man. Like when you learn to just be like grateful for what you got, whatever you got in any scenario. Like for me, if I was just to get up and you know, I'm, I'm alive, brother, I'm happy, man. Another day, let's go. You know what I mean? Some people yeah. forget that. Some people take that for granted, bro. And you know what? Are... Not to rub it in people's faces, but coronavirus is kind of reminding us about that. A lot of people like RIP to a lot of loved ones, but they are going recently. Like in my family, my friends, like people have been affected, bro. And it reminds you, man, like you really can't take life for granted. Don't take life for granted, man. Be grateful, man. I've got, I've got a friend right now who's stuck in America. He went to do a six month tour and everything just got cancelled. Yeah, till June, and he's been there since March. That whole no, no, I, can't, I, can't even, I can't even think what it's like to be stuck in another country, bro. Man. Like, like, imagine all your pocket money and it's, 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 it's depleting quick. Like, what are you doing out there? What if, You're like, right you, know, you, know, you know, people just go on holiday, but they don't have emergency money at all. Yeah, I don't know, yeah. I don't know about you, but I've, I've done that once or twice, and I didn't like that feeling. Like, I was under pressure when I was coming back from Berlin. Like, me and the missus, we were running through the airport, bro. <laughs> we was we was on the last ten minutes. Like like the plane to Heathrow. No, is it the plane to Luton is boarding in ten minutes? Can blah blah blah, bro? They were calling our names on the tunnel. Mister and Ashley, I was like, what? I, I was like, I was like, run, run. I was on a serious tip, bro. I was like, bro. I was like, listen, run. Yeah. And the mad thing is, security, right, was taking two hours to push twenty people through the gates. Yeah. By the time we got to the gate, we were like, listen, our, our flight is going in 15 minutes. Let us through. They were like, all right, cool. The machine wasn't working, so they had to manually check our suitcases. So they opened our suitcases now, yeah, rummaged through everything. Bruv, I'm carrying my suitcase open. My wife's carrying the suitcase open, carrying it like that. Clothes were one hanging on the side, and we're running to the gate, bruv. <laughs> we're, running, we're running to the gate and they're like in 10 minutes your flight will be boarded can we do it relax I'm like bruv and my missus is like she's in tears I'm like stop crying I said don't cry run there ain't no time for that <laughs> like, I told her straight like nah man we ain't fucking around like we gotta be on this plane because in my mind I was like I ain't got no money for another ticket to go home bruv if we miss this one <laughs> you know what you, I, you know you said you was running yeah <clears throat> all I've got in mind have you ever seen that film Time Bandits Bro, I I haven't, but it pretty was that. It pretty much probably was that. Whatever you're picturing, with like my my, my, my suitcase in my hand, clothes hanging out of the suitcase, <laughs> legging it, bro. My missus is like, she's like slow running behind me. She's upset, and I'm like, I'm like, no time for that. Let's go, keep walking. She's all tired because she don't really exercise or run. She's not like a, she's not like an exercisey person, and she's not a sporty person. I was like, no, 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 stop. Let's go, let's go, man. Stop, stop, stop sulking. Let's go. It was mad, bro. And we got to the gate. We were just so happy because we, we made it, man. Just on the, on the, on the plane, we're just like, <sighs> mad out of breath. Mad out of breath, man. Hey, uh, later time. on, on Good time, type, in, type in time bandits, yeah? It's about these little midgets, these dwarfs, in it? And they travel through time. And when they run, yeah? Right. <laughs> bro, that's just... <laughs> You're, you're the worst. I'm not even responding to that. But yeah, like, so guys, like, like skill set building, yeah. There's, there's so much things you can do, man. Me and Hunter, we've been into like music for ages. Guys, learn something, man. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I know, I know, no one should be telling you guys what to do or like, don't tell me how to run my. I understand, but guys, just pick up a hobby, man. I've seen a lot of people pick up hobbies that I never knew they were into or wanted to learn, and they're doing it. Do you know what I mean, people DJing. 
people like um, they're learning how porn. to um, huh? The porn hub, bro. <laughs> come on, man. Come on, man. Wait, Let's not talk no, about I... OnlyFans and all that, which had a massive influx in March, by the way. Apparently, Wait, that. a, tri- no, a you know, million or so influx in OnlyFans. You, so, you know what? You know, since this lockdown, Pornhub has yeah. had an eleven percent increase in traffic daily. Well, naturally, bro. You would add yeah, you'd add to like five percent of that because. I'm good, bro. <laughs> I'm busy, bro. I ain't got time for no. I ain't got time for Pornhub, bro. No, I ain't got time for I, that. Nah, have you nah, seen nah. the baby? Nah, 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 nah. But yeah, like skill set building, man. Honestly, guys, like learn how to video edit. I was talking about one of my talking about this with one of my friends. He was like, "Oh, bro, man, like, I might even not have this job." Or, bro. I was like, "Bro, you're so talented. Do your thing, man. Do your thing. Monetize yourself. Build up your portfolio. Build up a website. Start vlogging. Start vlogging. Mm-hmm. Start talking about a topic that people don't really know. Do a podcast like what we're doing. Do you know what I mean? Like for me, this is just fun. This is something I've, I've always wanted to do anyway, bro. You know what I mean? Remember when we did LS Radio? Me and AZ. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So we've we've come from from them days learning how to like bloody put mics together, making working software to like you know being blessed with like this sort of like you know apps like this where you could just hit record and boom you got a video picture of us and do things like that. You know what I mean? It's just just how you are innovative with what you've got, man. Do what you can. 